I wrote a book called Hot Blooded, where they first appear. And the story was not surrounding them by any means. They turned out to be the, with the police department. But my editor wanted me to write a book on uh, from New Orleans. And I thought, oh, <laughs> I've never been there. People there think different than I do. How can I make this work? But the whole feel, the, the city's so wonderful of the city was good. And, and then at the time, um, people were giving out psychological advice over the radio and people would call in with their problems kind of a dear abby thing and these people these radio people would try to solve the psychological marital whatever problems this person had and all in front of a whole audience and i thought first of all i would never do that and secondly well there's a good story in there somewhere so that's the story I started there. And then the detectives, I decided I wanted a team and they just kind of evolved. The second book was Cold Blooded and I made it around Rick Benz. And I remember a romance enthusiast who was a friend of mine at the time, or we hung out more said, hey, you can't really make a story around Rick Benz. He's a little bit old, a little bit chunky. You know, he just doesn't fit the hero uh, persona that she thought so uh, but I said yeah it's got to be about him because it's got to be he's got to meet Olivia and there's got to be all this stuff in the background so it kind of it worked and I liked the characters very much and that's probably that series was probably my first real deep insight into a continuing character the rest is history I just started I just finished uh uh, the most recent one, which is The Last Sinner that's coming out next year. And it's been a year. The problem is I've got several series going <laughs> to keep it all straight. Who's had a baby? How old is this person? Did somebody go to college? Yeah. I have the most fun with playing with the readers, having the characters go in a different direction or a new adventure. I think that playing with the readers is part of the whole writing, the, the, the game between the reader and the um, writer. And this book has been, uh, all of the series has been difficult because right in the middle of it, oops, Katrina. So Hurricane Katrina came. So there was pre-New Orleans, pre-Katrina New Orleans, post-Katrina New Orleans that I had to deal with. I couldn't so that, that was that was a difficult thing, not as difficult for me as the people who lived through it, but it made it um, put another wrinkle in it, a big one. Um, yeah, I I love having the characters have something come out of the blue at them. Now, in the case of Montoya and Benz in New Orleans, uh, we haven't had any serious disasters in the family yet, but coming up they are and i'm i'm going to focus on the montoya and bents but also i've got uh christy bents rick bents's daughter and cruz montoya uh who was introduced a couple books ago and he just caught my attention that i'm going to be um they're going to be more uh prominent in the forthcoming books so uh, The Last Sinner uh, introduces, reintroduces them in a new light. And I really had a lot of fun with them and uh, the, uh, their relatives, the, you know, Montoya and Benz, who uh, I also had to bring back a character from book one, a bad guy. And, you know, it was okay. I, I enjoyed it. He came back in the... Uh, the previous book a little bit but his crimes were all I was all about his crimes way back when and now I think nope we need to go in a new di direction so we solved that case and moved on 